Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of TypeScript, we will talk about how we can create dynamic pages with the help of EJS. So what is EJS? I already created a video on it. Uh, you can get the video from description box or uh, you can just watch the video from playlist if you want, right? And uh, one more thing guys, this is the last video for website tutorial in uh, Node.js. After that, we will uh, jump on APIs, middlewares and database connections and all. So after this video, we are not going to make this HTML pages and all. We will directly play with the APIs. And uh, after creating the database connections and all, we will create uh, one more video and that will be, uh, you can say that UI project in Node.js and that we will uh, be around one hour project. Here we will learn all things about uh, uh, how we can create a complete website, header, footer, menu bar and how we can load dynamic data from database and all, right? So now let's start with the points of this video. First of all, we will learn how we can add loops with the help of EGS, how we can make header file, how we can just show this uh, common header file in the different different pages. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions also. So now let's start. All right, so first of all, what we need to do, we just, uh, okay, so let's just uh, check out the UI first. In last video, we know that we just created a profile page and here we are just showing the name, email and country and this is coming from here. So now we want to apply a for loop so that I am adding here a skill key. And let's say uh, we are just talking about programming skills. So let's say Peter know the PHP, JS, Node.js and let's say Java and all right. So now how we can apply a loop over it, how we can iterate it. So for that, let's uh, go to the profile.ejx and let's say here we want to show the list. So just create a jewel and after that, let me just create a for each loop. And let's simply put here user dot skill basically this, this is the skills and after that just put here for each and uh, we can pass here a uh, arrow function with it so and we need these things to just uh, add in the another tag like this and inside it we can just put here ul and uh, let's again just use these tags like this and here we have to use here equal to sign also like this and uh, now let's simply put here uh, any parameter that we are just getting from for each loop like this and I think everything should work fine and let's check out the output here. Okay, so maybe we just made some mistakes. So let me check. Okay, so we just have to remove these things from these two brackets and now it will work fine. Here you can see that we got the list. Even if we add some more items, uh, let's say, uh, C++ and all, you will find that this is still working fine. There is a no issue. All right, great. So after that, uh, now let's see how we can just create a header. So for that, I already created the folder with the name of common. So I am putting my uh, file, header file here. Even you can put here uh, any name to this common folder like uh, uh, common files or uh, files or whatever you want to put. I just like to just put here norm, its name like common. That's why I just write here. So now let's uh, just simply use here uh, nav. Let's take h2 tag and uh, just put here header file or something. We can just add any simple sample text for a moment. Keep in mind your header file extension also should be ejs. And uh, now let's go to the profile.ejs and let's include it. Again, we need this ampersand here and uh, as we are using ampersand like this. 
let's and now just use uh, include function and let's put the path of the common file common header now you will find it will actually not working the perfectly you will find that there is some weird result like this is just printing the text why because when we are just putting it equal to it just uh, did not understand that this is a html letter or something so just simply put here minus or hyphen uh, now you underscore now you will you can see that we got this header file perfectly so there is only uh, one ejx file so we can create one more file so that we can just include header file in the multiple files and we can practice it so let me add here one more file and it should be outside from uh, common as per our structure let's simply put here login.ejs let's add some html if we can remove these extra lines that we are not required title let's say login h1 tag this is a login page or you can add some other text also if you want and now let's uh, copy this line from here to just here and you will find that header is still working on the okay one more thing we just have to add this uh, uh, login route also so let me just add here app dot get login and we are using second parameter for request and response and we are not using the uh, request so let's put here underscore for a moment resp and now let's put here resp dot render and uh, here we can simply put here our file name which is login and now let's try to get the login url and here you can see that header is working fine and this file is also working fine so now let's talk about uh, header uh, the most important interview question regarding this file is they can ask that how you can make a common header file for that you can tell that let's create a file inside a view folder because only view folder support the template engine keep in mind that inside view folder and after that uh, we can just include you can we can uh, include use include function to add the uh, common file and same answer you can just give for the footer but just keep in mind whenever you will add footer you have to just put footer uh, at the last of your code thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box